Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing a little bit of an exciting one for me. I'm very excited about it. I've had it in my mind since the moment I clicked purchase. It's coming from back here, so you know it's to do with lipsticks. Boom! We've been playing around with the Vive Modern Matte Lipsticks. There's five of them. There are also five liners as well, but I've only bought two. I've got Velvet Sands and Brat. Um, I'll be swatching these two and then I'll probably be wearing like a combination for a short while to give you a little bit of an update on how they wore and like wearing when I'm drinking and eating and just see how they wear in general in a couple of hours. I feel like I get a good understanding of how a lipstick is going to wear after just a few hours. Unlike a foundation where it can change throughout the day, a lipstick just kind of, from my experience, is what it is. After about two or three hours, you can kind of see where it's gonna go, you know. If it's gonna collect in the inside of your lips, it's gonna do that pretty quick. If it's not, if it wears off nicely, if it smudges, it's gonna do that relatively quick, especially if I've had something to drink, something to eat, chatting, you know. So I feel like we can give this a little bit of a wear test. We'll definitely do a combination. Um, I really want to do a lip swatch video. I love lip swatch videos. And I did say I will be doing my Huda Beauty, the ones right here, you can probably just see them there. All of my Huda Beauty matte lipsticks. But I really like lip swatch videos. I think they're really helpful, especially when you just want one lip color or you don't know what to get or you want to get a couple, but you don't want to get dupes of one another. I find lip swatch videos really, really fun to watch and really, really helpful. There have been many occasion where I have screen shot random people's lips and held them up to my face and carried the pictures with me until I go into the store and I'm like looking at their lips looking at my lips looking at the lipstick I'm that person okay I'm that person so I've purchased all five of the Aviv modern matte lipsticks I purchased them in my cult beauty haul if you haven't seen it already please go watch it's very fun I also did a shop with me and I'll link that up in the cards as well in the eye um, if you want to go watch that that's where I hauled these from I also like I said picked up two lip liners just to sort of see what it's like. I feel like when you've got one or two lip liners, you've got all of them. She says with a whole drawer of lip liners in front of her, but I'm an addict. So yeah, that's what we'll be doing today. So if you wanna stick around and watch that, then please do carry on watching. And if you are new here, hello and welcome. Join my inner circle of people that just love to talk about all the superficial things in life. The things that don't really matter, but the things that bring us joy. Talk about homework, skincare, makeup, hair care, fashion, all those things. They're like, let's be honest, they don't really matter, but they bring us joy. They take us away from the everyday grind that is life and they just make us happy for like 30 minutes, you know? So if that's the sort of thing you'd enjoy, hit the subscribe button down below, draw me a little family lamb, draw me a little circle of trust, and let's swatch some lipsticks. I'm very excited. Thought I'd bring you up close and personal for this. I'm also gonna swatch them on my arm as well, just so you can see a comparison, if you wanted to just see them all swatched out. And then I'll be doing some live swatches on my lips. And like I said, we'll then be doing a wear test with a combination of a lip liner and a lipstick. So, where do we begin? So each of these lipsticks retail for £19 and the lip liners retail for £15. So it is like the price of like a MAC lipstick. So I'm hoping that the quality is really good. Um, just like all of her products, it is just this nice cardboard matte black packaging. I'll just show you up close for you. This is what the packaging looks like up close. So you can see it just says Vive and then you've got the shade name on the end of the packaging there. So I probably won't keep these packaging of these lipsticks. They're not special enough for me. And um, they're pretty like thin, thin cardboard. They're not like, you know, like they're, they're pretty thin and they're nothing special, but they're nice and recyclable. So I don't mind. However, inside is a masterpiece. Inside, this is what the packaging looks like. It's got a lovely V at the end of it and golden detailing. And like this faux, or there you can see it there, faux leather very very bougie and then you've also got the shade name on the bottom there as you can see so all of the lipsticks look identical i think these are really really stunning very tom ford-esque very very luxury for me the packaging alone i mean it's a magnetic top as well like that for me the packaging screams 19 pounds like it, it screams 19 pounds it screams to me that it's expensive i don't feel like i'm paying 19 pounds for a cheap plasticky compartment yeah the outer packaging isn't like that expensive but to be honest with you you're gonna throw it away anyway it's not like it's a masterpiece of art like do i really care i'd rather it just be more eco-friendly and throw it away the piece that i'm actually keeping the component itself is stunning it feels expensive it feels like i paid 30 pounds for this hopefully the formula says the same so just before i swatch i just wanted to show you the compartment they all look exactly the same you can see vive there stamped on the actual lipstick really really pretty and it's a pointed sort of teardrop uh shape really really nice this is the shade treasure it's gonna be really delicate so i don't 
kind of <laughs> ruin it already. That's the shade Treasure. Really, really nice peachy undertones. The next shade we have here is called Vive. Which I'd say, I'm trying to do this in like light to dark. No particular reason, just so it's easier for you to compare two if you're undecided between two. So that second shade is Vive. A little bit more neutral leaning. Um, it's still got that peachy undertone, but more of a neutral rather than a warm peach. We then have the shade Coming In Halt. It's not like H-O-U-T, it's H-A-U-T. So coming in Holt looks like that, much deeper, but more neutral again. Kind of got a little bit of warmth to it, but really, really nice. Kind of leaning on a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of redness in there. I'm like sneaking a little bit of redness, red brown in there. We then have the shade Nine Tees. Oh God, that's a very wonky swatch of mine, sorry. Uh, the shade Nine Tees. It's a little bit, um, it's a little bit similar to Come In A Halt. It's actually lighter, I should have swapped these two around, it doesn't matter too much. This again is more neutral and this one's more warm. A little bit like this one where it's more neutral and that one's warm. This one's a neutral and that one's the warmer version. It's almost like cooler and warmer versions of the same family of tone, if that makes sense. And then finally we have the shade Power Suit, which is definitely the deepest sort of red brick shade. It's not like a red. It's just like a bricky red shade. So those are the five shades she's got. Sorry that the swatches are a little bit wonky, but I feel like they're thick enough swatches that you can see on my skin tone. Um, so if you are familiar with kind of my skin tone in terms of like foundation I wear and things like that, I would say I'm a light skin tone. I'm not fair. Um, when I'm tan, I'm like light medium, but I'm typically all year round a light skin tone. So again, those are what the shades look like really really pretty i love a good nude lipstick um and you've got some like good warm and neutral and sort of slightly cool tone i said it's more neutral warm there's not really a lot of cool tones in there but we'll see when we get them on the lips i'll also just swatch the two lip liners i have as well so this is the shade brat oh that's pretty and then we've got velvet sands which is more of a brown toned um but yeah that's velvet sands and that's brat really really nice my sorts of colors i'd also say that the finish of these lipsticks are kind of like a, a satin cream so they're not so creamy that they're like glossy but they're not matte so i'd say they're like a satin finish which is personally my favorite finish of lipstick okay it's a personal preference but my favorite is kind of slightly creamy but slightly matte to create a satin nice and creamy on the lips and not make them look dry but equally they're not glossy looking they're just really really nice also the lip liners just feel nice it don't really like lip liners are lip liners i feel like you have to wear them to figure out what they're like but they're nice and creamy they're nice and creamy which brings us to the next section of me swatching them on my lips playing some lovely little tunes and me pretending to enjoy my life pulling all the youtube faces you know them you know them <laughs> Thank you. 
concludes the lip swatches. My lips are positively dying right now. So, first impressions. Interestingly enough, I feel like they came off much lighter than I was expecting. The only one that didn't throw me off was the Power Suit, which was the last shade, that brick red. I felt like that was exactly what I was expecting. The other four, however, I felt like the first two, the lightest two, were definitely more um, like peach puff, you know, like very pale and milky. I don't mind that. I think what I'm going to have to do with those lipsticks in particular is to lip line, which is exactly what I'm going to do today. I think what I might do is apply Vive as it is and then I'm going to put the liner on afterwards and like blend it in. So as you can see, it's like quite milky. It's a lovely colour though. There we go. Full pigment. Really, really nice. Really creamy. Mm -hmm. But I have no definition around my lip line. So I'm going to take, I think... Ooh, what do I want to take? Do I want to take Velvet Sands? No, let's take Bratz. Let's have a bit of a darker lip line. And then I just take my finger usually and just blend in the edges. Also, doing this and blending in with your finger, I find that you get less of a butthole effect, like in here. You get less of a build up if you just blend and pat. So that is Vive and Bratz lip liner, kind of blended into one another, but obviously. Vive is more prominent in the centre and Bratz, the lip liner, is more prominent outside. Do I feel like this washes me out? I quite like it. I think because I've got such a natural, very, very natural, not natural, but like very subtle eye on, that if I had something bold, like a bolder, like red or purple or blue eye, just like really colourful, this would be perfect because it wouldn't take away from my eyes. I think because I've got very natural, subtle eyes on, I like to have one or the other. I like to have dramatic eyes or dramatic lips. And when I've got like both subtle, I'm kind of like, where is it all? You can't have both dramatic. I mean, you can, you can, because there's no rules, but both dramatic can look a little bit drag queeny. If that's the look you're going for, go for your life. I love it. I love that you're confident like that. For me, I feel a little bit like Coco the Clown. Um, they feel really, really nice on the lips. They feel really, really nice on the lips. I think I'm gonna really like this range. I hope she comes out with some more. I think what's interesting for me is that I thought these lipsticks were gonna run differently than how they did. I thought the only one that was gonna be too light for me was Treasure, which was that peachy, like peachy shade that I showed at the very beginning. I thought this shade Vive was gonna be much darker and it was much lighter. So I'd say the first two shades that I've swatched, Vive and Treasure, if you don't like a lighter lipstick, then I'd maybe skip them. If you prefer a more medium toned lipstick, then perhaps coming in hot or 90s would be better for you. And then if you prefer like the more readier color, then Power Suit is a really nice one. I feel like if you've got a deeper skin tone, Power Suit would be a really nice warm nude. I think I'm glad I bought the lip liners to just play around and kind of mesh this. I feel like I look less washed out with the lip liner just bringing in a little bit of depth to my lips and giving me somewhat of a lip line. Of course, I did choose the lighter colour for a reason. I want to know if it gives me butthole lips. I want to know if it collects. I feel like with darker colours, it doesn't necessarily collect in the inner the inner rim. You know what I'm talking about if you know what I'm talking about. Um, so that's why I've gone for like this lighter shade to really test the quality of it. So I'm gonna go away for a couple of hours, two or three hours, have something to drink, have a cup of tea, see if it transfers a lot, um, you know, if it's completely wiped on my chin. Not a lot of lipsticks do that. I'm not oily, I'm dry skin, so not a lot of lipsticks transfer in my chin, but I know for a lot of people that does happen, and it has happened to me before with some lipstick formula. So I just wanna assess the situation, see what it's like after eating, see what's left, see if it's just a lip line left, you know, all these things. Um, and I'll put that clip in now. Hello. I've just woken up from a glorious nap. Look at the right side of my face. Can you tell I was napping on that side? We'll just, we'll stick to this side. The lips mm, are pretty non-existent right now. There's a hint of lip liner right there, but they're pretty non-existent. Um, yeah. Oh my God, look, all my makeup's just falling off because I fell asleep. This has been on my face now for about six hours, maybe, yeah, about six hours. I had tea, I had dinner. I had another drink, I've just had a nap, and it's fully off. I would expect that from a lipstick, but I would happily have a lipstick wear off like this, where there's nothing on my lips, as opposed to collecting, which it hasn't done. It's not collected in my lips. So you can kind of see on like the top of my lip line, but <laughs> serving you all the angles. It's, um, 
it's like a little bit there but not really but i'd quite happily have that happen and just top up through the evening as opposed to it wearing funny and patching and doing weird things i did have a look and i wish i filmed earlier but i, I was too lazy i was watching tv um but it wasn't like patchy at all it was just wearing off nicely so i like them are they worth the money no no i don't think they're like oh my goodness life-changing worth the money worth every penny but you won't regret it i don't think if it's something you're lusting after in terms of the packaging sorry if you can hear my fan by the way if it's the terms like of the packaging the color if there's more than a couple of boxes ticked for you i've never served so many great angles look i've been crying i promise i haven't yeah if there's more than a couple of boxes ticked for you i think you'd enjoy them but i don't think they're anything life-changing i don't think it's not like i've found something so precious in my life they're just really beautiful lipsticks um but i don't think they're like life-changing you know i wasn't catching myself in the mirror going "Ooh, mm -hmm, you know it was just it was nice it was nice um they're expensive if you've got some extra cash from birthday and you or like christmas or something and or whatever holiday you celebrate and you want one I think you won't be disappointed in them. They are nice lipsticks. I don't think you need them if you can't already afford to get them anyway, if that makes any sense. Um, it's like one in the morning right now. Jake's gone to bed and I've just woken up, as you can see. This was my lipstick review. Um, cut back to Megan who's put together and not looking like this. <laughs> So yeah, that is it. Hopefully my last clip said if I recommended them or not, because obviously I'm filming this just after I filmed all the swatches. So hopefully I've said if I recommend them or not. I don't think I have a favorite color right this moment. I think they're all really, really pretty. And honestly, they're all like my sorts of shades. Even the red brick toned color. I'm not even a lover of reds, but that is a really nice shade. So I love all the shades. I think I'm gonna probably find my favorites with time and just with what I gravitate to towards the most. So stay tuned for that because I couldn't give you a favorite color at the moment, but hopefully this has been helpful for you. Just knowing my first impressions, how it's worn. Um, and like I said, I've got drier lips. They're not cracked dry, but they are drier lips. Um, so hopefully this has been helpful, just seeing the shades and just knowing how they react for the first couple of hours, seeing what they look like meshed with the lip liners, things like that. Hopefully that's been helpful because that's the whole point in this is just to be helpful for you guys to make better choices about your purchases. Like I said, I don't think you need all of them, but if you do want all of them, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have enjoyed this video or you found it helpful today, please give me a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell because then you'll be notified of all the videos I upload. I upload every single week. Anyone wanna miss out on more content from me? No, you would not. No, you would would not hit subscribe join my circle of trust my warm embrace my warm cozy hug come join it come join my little family stay safe take care and i'll see you in my next one bye